Hello sewing people. Welcome to my channel. A lot of people ask how to oil their sewing machine. And if you have a vintage sewing machine, this is something you really know how to do. Now I'm not an expert, but I've sewn with a lot of vintage machines. So I'm going to give you a few tips on uh, what you need to do to keep your machine running pretty good. Now this machine is a Fashion Mate Singer 257. It's a pretty sturdy machine. A lot of these are around still today and they're going to stay around as long as somebody, you know, keeps sewing with them. That's the most important thing to do with these machines is sew, sew, sew. And if you do, they need to be oiled about every eight hours or so at least of sewing time then you need to oil these machines. Now this one's pretty basic. Now what you're going to do is you're going to unscrew the top right up here and that lifts off. Going to unscrew right here and that's going to lift off too. Be sure not to lose your screws because these screws be brief. Okay, so you get that off. Let me see if I can do some changes around here. Well, I'll probably get to the okay, and the top of the machine up here. You're going to see a lot of little various holes. Like here's a hole. Um, here's a hole. Here's one. Here's one. So just about any place that you see a hole or some sort of movement where the machine's going to be moving is where you want to Put your oil. Oh shoot, I meant to let you hear the machine before I oiled it. So you could hear the difference. Then you're just going to kind of move it around a little bit, let the oil get to circulating. If you put too much, it's going to just um, spill out run down to your machine. So you need to be there and uh, get that up. Now for your gears you're going to need to use something like um, this is the only one I have right now a heavy lubricant oil type lubricant. And it needs well <laughs> here we go it needs to be specifically for sewing machines not you know for anything else to be on the safe side now what you're going to do with those is you're going to grease the gears let's get some grease on the gears now you're going to come over on this side of the machine and then you're going to oil it in the same areas that go up and down. You can see little parts that move up and down. This is not my favorite oil jug, but it just seems, I don't know what I did with the other one. Okay, and again, if you see any holes, you want to go in those holes and just around different little areas right here that you see that are going to wiggle when you move the machine around. See when you move these arm. 
you'll see areas and you're gonna see it like this machine is dry as a bone I mean you, I wish I took a picture of this machine before I cleaned it up so that's what you're gonna do okay then we're gonna get to the other underside of the machine it's not a whole lot of places to but again where you have something moving that's usually these bars and usually I think this is where the grease is supposed to go usually on the gears like for like here See where you see movement. That's where you want to put the oil. And this is not my favorite. So then when you're done, you'll put your lid and everything back on the machine. And if you have a manual, refer to your manual. It'll give you a better detail of where and how you need to oil and grease your machine. But normally this is going to get you by, keep your machine in pretty good shape until your one, once a year maintenance is due. You know, you, you probably want to take your machine in about once a year and get it checked out by a technician. There might be a place you need the um, oil in the motor too. So I wish I would have recorded the machine before it was oiled so you could hear the difference. But I'll go ahead and run the machine now and let you hear it after it's oiled. Well, take it for, take my word for it, it sounds a whole lot better. And like I said earlier, these machines were meant to be sewn with, not stuck in a closet and sitting up. If they do set up, then the, they tend to get gunked up or glued up from all the oils just, you know, caking on it. So they're meant to be sewn with. So anyway, I hope this uh, little video helped you out a little bit with oiling your machines. And um, hope you'll visit my channel often and subscribe. Appreciate all my vi uh, viewers. Happy sewing. Bye now.